Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Curious Jay Talk. In this episode, I want to talk about why Black Widow is now finally getting a movie and had to wait until Captain Marvel had a movie. And I was thinking about this the other day, and I thought it was pretty unfair. I, it didn't make any sense to me. Black Widow is an established character in the Marvel MCU, and she has every right to have been the first movie, a, a, a woman-led movie. And actually, that's not the that's not the truth. Actually, well, MCU woman-led movie compared to just Marvel, because if you want to go with Marvel-led movie, that would be Elektra. We'd like to forget that movie because it was pretty horrible, but it still was the first Marvel woman-led movie. So now we have Captain Marvel coming out. But why wasn't Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow the first movie? It never made sense to me. And why did it take so long for it to come out? I never understood. I loved Black Widow. Most people did. She was a cool character. She was badass. You know, she hung out with all the guys and basically you better not slow down because she'll pass you up. She was cool, man. She was, you know, she was great in all those movies. Let's, let's name all the movies she was in. She was in Iron Man 2. That's where her first appearance was. She was in The Avengers. She was in Captain America The Winter Soldier. You know, that, that Captain America The Winter Soldier might as well have been a team-up movie with Black Widow. Because <laughs> she was in a lot of that. Uh, uh, she was in Avengers Age of Ultron. She was in Captain America Civil War. She was not in Thor Ragnarok, but she was mentioned quite a bit. With that whole, uh, you know, the sun's coming down kind of thing. <laughs> where she kept saying that to the Hulk. Or actually Thor was saying it to the Hulk. You know, basically... Quoting Natasha. She was in Avengers Infinity War. She's going to be in Avengers Endgame. And now she has her own movie coming out. That's a lot of movies. That really is. And so I don't understand why in the heck she didn't have her own first movie first. That, well, that's a lot of first there. <laughs> so I thought about it. And then I realized something. Uh, Captain Marvel basically is... A hero, and I, I, I don't know if this was calculated or what, but she is one of these cosmic heroes, super-powered heroes, that they could shove out front and so the women can follow. Which, I was thinking about that, and I was like, is that the reason why? Because listen to all this. If you look, look at the marketing they're doing. Look at all the stuff that Lee, Brie Larson is saying. It's like, follow me, women. Follow me. Look at all the things I can do. You can do it too. Which you can't. You cannot be a superhero. You can't shoot photon blasts out of your hand. <laughs> you can't fly. As much as we'd like to, we can't do it. So they pushed this movie to the front. And basically saying, follow. And I, I don't understand why. Black Widow was an awesome character. She's established herself. She proven, she's proven. She's a, she's a badass woman. I am looking forward to the Black Widow movie. I hope... And I said it before, I hope they make it more like a Jason Bourne slash 007 kind of movie where it's very spy-like. You know, you'll have your, you know, hero guest appearances and villains, you know, and uh, maybe superpower villains would be great. And uh, you can t not make it a trilogy, but make it a series, you know, like 007 was, like Bourne is. That would be awesome. Even John Wick, you know. I mean, because... You, the potential of really cool, you know, stories that she can do would be um, her amazing. Captain Marvel, not so much. I would much rather see a Black Widow movie. And Scarlett Johansson has proven herself over and over again. I mean, she she is a classy woman. From everything I've read and seen, Brie Larson is starting to show that she's really not that classy. And I, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be, you know, you know, insulting or nothing. But she's not. Look at all the stuff she's saying. The, the 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 controversial stuff she's saying, you know, the racist stuff she's saying, the sexist, the exclusiveness of all the stuff she's saying, it's not good. So, I believe that they have Captain Marvel as the first woman-led MCU movie because she is super powerful. She's the strongest of all the heroes, which is garbage, in my opinion. I can't stand that. So... That's why. And not Black Widow. They they held on to Black Widow. And they held and held and held and held. And this was, I think this was the end result. This is what they wanted. They wanted her to come in. And I swear to you, if she saves Endgame, she comes in and beats Thanos on her own, I'm going to be extremely upset. I'm not going to be happy. And I am not the only one. You know, if she if she helps with the, if it's a team effort, I'm good. But if it's her on her own, nope. 
I am going to be upset. So that's why I think Black Widow got the shaft, if you really think about it. And they pushed <laughs> Captain Rotten Tomatoes out front there. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be associating uh, Captain Marvel and Rotten Tomatoes forever. You know that. You know you're going to. I know I'm going to. It's always going to be there. Captain Rotten, you know. <laughs> Rotten Marvel. Whatever name you want to call it. So, yeah, that's those are my thoughts. I wish Black Widow would have had the first movie. I think she would have been awesome. I think she would have been represented really well by Scarlett Johansson. And uh, it's really too bad. It really is. We're, instead, we're going to get this, this Brie Larson feminist pusher who's going to say, follow me, women. All you men. Pfft. This movie's not made for you. It's like, fine. Well, I'm not going to go see it. So, careful what you wish for. All right, guys, thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it. Leave a like if you uh, like what you heard. Uh, subscribe would be better so I can keep talking about all this stuff. I really enjoy talking about this stuff. And, and for all those who have subscribed and listened, thank you. Thank you very much. I really do mean it. I appreciate it. So I guess I'll see you again here on another episode of Curious J Talk. Bye-bye.